Yo, CFC Riddis Blue, and this is a transfer update regarding the summer transfers that Chelsea are looking to get. The um the three targets that we're looking to buy in the summer are Jules Kunde from Sevilla, Aurelian Chuomeni from AS Monaco, and Deca Rice from West Ham. Fabrizio Romano has reported that these are the um that these are the targets that Chelsea want. And are confident of getting especially Jules Kunde, who um missed out on a transfer for us last summer that is down to um Sevilla being very hard to um negotiate a deal with because in terms of the um in terms of um what's um the thing called in terms of like um salary like uh the salary and personal terms and such, those have already been agreed. It's just the fee in which we're gonna buy them for. Just needs to be resolved and let's down to Sevilla. Kunde was very angry with Sevilla for not letting him go to Chelsea last summer. So hopefully they don't disappoint him again and allow him to um move to Chelsea in the summer because if we get him, boy, that's just that's just great because he's a great defender. Sevilla right now in um La Liga are second and have the best defensive record in the league and Something that's down to Kunde, so it'll be very, very good for him to um, come to Chelsea. He's very young as well, so he'll be our defender for at least eight years. And, well, that's if he stays for that long, but I see him being a long-term target for Chelsea to um, instill the success that we have been having throughout Abramovich's era. And, yeah, man, it's going to be very good if we get him. And then we move on to Aurelian Chouameni from AS Monaco. And this boy, big, strong, decisive in terms of winning the balls back, counter pressing and such. Um, he's he's due to be a major, major talent. A lot of teams are after him already, not just Chelsea. Um, Real Madrid are also looking at him as well, and um, it's going to be going to be a very interesting summer. But I would I would suspect Chelsea could have um could have the advantage because we've been. Talking to Kunde, not Kunde, sorry, sure many for the past like year and a half. Talking to him, trying to make sure that um he he can come to Chelsea and just try to build a relationship, because in terms of this we have to restrength our our midfield options because sure Kovacic, Jorginho, and Kante are um are very good at their positions, but it's coming towards the twilight of their um twilight of their career they're due to be entering their 30s soon and now it's time to refresh the midfield with with um a really ensure menu who can be at Chelsea for at least the next 10 years that can that can build our winning mentalities even more so yeah that's just gonna be what it is and um in terms of Declan Rice we've been after Declan Rice many teams have been after Declan Rice for the past year or so but with how good West Ham are doing right now, potentially either going to finish in the top four or win the Europa League, to get West Ham to sell Declan Rice, going to be, that's going to be the most difficult deal in my opinion because it's going to cost at least 100 mil. At least 100 mil. They were demanding that last summer and now it's definitely, they're definitely going to stay at that price. And if they get Champions League football, then... It's going to be even more, like 120 to 130 mil for him. West Ham will let him go easily. And even though the player has rejected contracts with um, contract extensions with West Ham, West Ham are not about to um, let him go for anything less than 100 mil. They'd rather, I think, they'd rather lose him for free rather than um, let a team get him for less than 100 mil. So that's just going to be the most difficult deal. Personally, it would be very good if Declan Rice comes to Chelsea because he knows the Premier League and he was at Cobham as a young boy and he wasn't he wasn't happy that we let him go but now this could be this summer could be the time for him to return to the club where his best friend Lisa Mount is all is also here and he can build a foundation with Chua Menu and potentially Kante and Jorginho and Kovacic and that would make Harmon feel Probably the best midfield in the league if we were able to sign Shaw many Declan Rice to add to this squad already and 
Yeah, man, it's going to be it's going to be a very interesting summer. We're expected to spend at least two hundred mil with get release targets. I would say two hundred to two hundred and fifty mil. Chelsea do have great business, but in terms of dealing with these clubs, Bar Monaco, Sevilla, and West Ham are not going to be easy to negotiate with, and it's just going to be very interesting to see who gets these guys because. Just like Chelsea are interested in Declan Rice, so are Manchester United and so are Manchester City. And it's not going to be easy competition, but hopefully with, with everything that's going on at Chelsea in terms of Declan Rice being at the academy before, him living in London at West Ham, best friend being Mason Mount, hopefully everything can just um, hopefully everything can just work out and he can come to Chelsea. If Chelsea are able to sign all these three targets, then... We, we will be able to um, fight for the Premier League more sustainably next season rather than this season where we have fallen during January and we don't look like we're going to win the title. So hopefully with these signings next summer, that can allow us to um, fight Man City and take them, and take them to the limit in terms of um, making sure that they don't win another Premier League because they're looking like the favourites right now. So... Yeah, let's just hope that, that that's the case. But let me know your thoughts and opinions. Who would you like to sign out of these three? Would you want all three of these? Or would you want other options? Just let me know in the comments. Thank you again for everyone that um watching my videos. Like, share, and subscribe on the channel. I'm CFC Redis Blue, and I'm out. Peace.